Welcome back everyone to a new Shrine Guide video here on the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. My name is Michael and in this video the Toto Sa Shrine, also known as Toto Sa Apparatus. This shrine is located south in the Dueling Peaks region, next to the Hickley Woods. Let's go! It's easiest to once again start at the Dueling Peaks stable. Just go to this bridge, the same way we did in the last video. The big twin bridge. But instead of going to the right, let's go left. Just continue this road as far as it goes. Anyway, if you guys like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, because that helps with the discoverability of this video a lot. And that is what we need to grow this YouTube channel. And when you're there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well, and it's bell, so you won't miss any future content and no future guides. I also stream games, such as Zelda on Twitch. Link is in the description down below, so check it out. Just continue here. Head to that small waterfall over there. And just keep continuing. Make sure to keep an eye out on the right side of the stream, because there is your shrine located. And you can see it there already. There are some rocks that can be broken with a bomb. But in order to get there, we need to get a little bit closer. So for that, you use your cryonis room, place it somewhere in the water, get on top of it, and get yourself a bomb room. And throw it. Well, that was just not far enough. Let's try again. Let's get a little bit closer to the edge. And let's throw again. That worked perfectly. Now, just glide in. And there we are. Toto Sa Shrine. Let's go in. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Toto Sa. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Toto Sa Apparatus, Toto Sa Shrine. Walk towards the first control station, and this lets you control the first platform. Make sure to turn it around because there is a treasure chest up there. Make sure it's positioned correctly, and then place it there. Walk towards the treasure chest and open the treasure chest. A nice shield of the mind's eye is inside there. This shield has a strength of 16, which is a decent shield. Then let's continue and turn right up the stairs. And there's your next control panel. Use it to position the stairs in the correct position, but also make sure that the middle stairs is walkable and not somewhere at the left or right. It doesn't have to be precisely in the middle, but... Then continue getting up. Turn 
to the left side, under the stairs. And then there's a next control panel. Turn this way all the way around, because there is a treasure chest and we really need that one in order to finish this shrine. Position it correctly so you can actually reach it. Climb up. Open the chest. And there's a small key. Now let's go back to the control panel. Use the control panel once again. And then turn it in a way that you can cross over. And this might be a probably correct position. Make sure that the stairs is all the way to the right. Almost. Yeah, that looks like it. Now climb up, over the stairs, to the left, and there's the door with a keyhole, use the key, and the door opens, and there you can find the monk. Go stand before him and press A. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Spirit orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. And another shrine completed. Congratulations, you did an outstanding job. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss my future content. And uh, well, this kind of was the video. See you all next week in a new Shrine Guide video here on the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. This was Michael, signing off. See ya!